Airbnb properties are flooding the market. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. I have my Stein of coffee and I thought we'd have a look at this article from realestate.com.au with regards to the number of short-term, also known as Airbnb, rentals flooding the rental market and how this will have an effect on, well, rental prices for those renting them out and for people renting as well. We'll have to see. Although a lot of them may just stop paying because there's going to be a halt to evictions, apparently. So let us know in the comments if you've been affected by this. I know a few viewers have mentioned in the comments that their, you know, their rental properties or their rental returns are going to be hit because of all of the Airbnb is now flipping from short-term Airbnb rental to just the rental market to get anyone in there. I've had friends who have who've had uh, Airbnb rentals and he was doing it for a while down the Gold Coast and after a while it just uh, became more hassle than it was worth, to be honest. I think his wife was annoyed that their holiday unit was constantly being used for Airbnb and not for their own holiday, so it may have been a, another reason. So let's look at this. So leap in furnished rentals hints short-term industry pain. So, I mean, when you rent a, rent a house, often it's not furnished. So if they are furnished, it's a little little different and that shows you what's going on here because this airbnb sector would just have crashed because our tourism from overseas even domestically it's disappeared overnight overnight so i wonder how the people who have got all these investment properties that are depending on the would you well would you depend on airbnb income to pay your mortgage i i don't imagine it would be that reliable but i guess there would be some people that might <clears throat> so a staggering rise in furnished rental listings suggests short-stay hosts are desperately seeking long-term tenants as the illness travel restrictions wipe out holiday makers. There were 54% more furnished properties listed nationally on realestate.com.au this week compared to last week and a 152% increase on the week before. Just look at those numbers, guys. 152% increase. Tasmania had a mammoth 536% rise on furnished rentals compared to three weeks ago, with a variance of 170% from last week. So I know we've got a regular, you know, lukewarm in the comments from Tasmania, mate. Tell us <laughs> what it's like down there if you're encountering this. Bloody hell. 500%. Well, there you go. I mean, Tasmania is beautiful, guys. I've, I've been down there. I've, I've gone from Launceston to Hobart, climbed the mountain down there. It's beautiful. It's lovely. And we'll just have to see if this is going to affect the rental market down there. What more do we need to see, guys? That's pretty, pretty drastic. The ACT had the second highest upward swing of 533%. I mean, these are insane more than three weeks ago and 111%. So Tasmania would obviously be for people wanting to go for a relaxing holiday to Tassie. I can completely understand that. ACT to be for all the political travel and the spruikers and everyone that has to travel to ACT. In the last week, long-term furnished rental listings from realestate.com.au have risen in all states and territories. Queensland is up 81%, New South Wales 55 South Australia 44, Western Australia 38, Northern Territory 24, and Victoria 22. Now remember, I did a video earlier today where I asked the question, will there be a housing crash? Because we had spruikers there saying, oh no, these experts don't know what they're talking about. Just wait, wait it out, wait it out. 500% increase in the number of people that have had to look for long-term tenants. What do you think that'll do, guys? If there's, if there's that much of a delta change in the number on the market, the prices are going to go down. How many people will be able to afford to keep these, these, uh, these houses or these units if prices go down, if they can't afford to pay the mortgage, guys? Queensland, New South Wales and Victoria have the highest volume of furnished rental listings on site. We see, we're starting to see an increase in rental listings, partly because of a lot of short terms are transitioning to long term, says realestate.com.au chief economist Nerida Gonesby. The rise in rental listings is coupled with an uptick in shared accommodation activity on flatmates.com.au, she says, as young renters affected by job losses seek alternative arrangements. Well, yeah, I mean, this people are having to tighten their belt. 
they're really having to tighten their belt. And if this is going on for a prolonged period, the generation's going to learn what a recession is. And it's not just going to be a normal recession, guys. This is something, this is something very different. Very different. Prepare to share your house. I mean, this is, this is literally like you want social distancing. <laughs> Executive manager of flatmates.com.au, Steve Caddy, says there's been a 17.7% .7 increase in properties being listed on site this week compared with the first week of March. Well, there you go. More people are listing their rooms. They're listing their properties to run out of room. I mean, that's one thing you do if you want to bring in some extra cash. Every little bit helps, particularly when times are tough, particularly when people are unemployed. So since the quarantine period began, We've seen a slight reduction in international student members and our backpacker community. While this time of year does bring a seasonal change from the January and February peak seasons, it's likely the pandemic has spread the, sped this up and we're seeing the shift earlier than normal, Caddy says. For those looking for a place to live, now is a great time to find a share house or to upgrade to your dream rental location. Many of these new members were originally holiday rentals who are now entering the long-term marketplace. We're all, we've also seen a number of new members now renting out their spa spare rooms as an additional revenue stream during the uncertain times. For members of the backpacker community still in Australia who might feel unsafe or uncomfortable in a hostile environment, now is probably a good time to move. So mum and dad landlords will struggle. And he, he, this is the issue, guys. This is where people are saying there's not going to be a decline in property if, if you're laid off, if, if you don't, know, you know, and you've got these investments and you're losing any income it's making. Peter Morrison, a board member of the Australian Short-Term Accommodation Association, says the sector faces devastation if the travel bans are extended and accommodation can't be adapted to secure income, interim income. Well. I mean, this is looking like it'll last for six months, guys. How many people can bankroll a property for six months? L let me know in the comments, guys. People are looking at this industry and think it's full of greedy landlords. But it's not true. A lot of mom and dad landlords, especially in regional areas where they rely on the extra income to help pay their bills and cover costs of their properties, Morrison said. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Most of the wealth of our civilization is in housing one way or another, 57%, either in super investment or privately owned houses. That's why our economy is so primitive. That's why we simply quarry materials and send them overseas. Because why would you, why would you take on the burden or the challenge of having staff or having a workplace or all the bureaucracy and BS that you have to deal with in this country when you can just flip houses? When the travel restrictions first came in, it of course took away bookings automatically and many online travel hosts changed their conditions to deliver refunds to mid-April, but this week it's changed again. Personally, I own short-term rentals and made the decision to not take any bookings until later in the year. I don't want guests to be unsafe. Um, why would they be unsafe in your booking? I, I think, yeah, sure, sure, that, that's nice, you know. Uh, also, that's very nice, but you probably won't get any rentals. She says, Astra has been lobbying the government, of course they lobby the government, for similar support to those sought by industry groups for the mainstream residential rental market. It's now 20% of the Australian tourism industry. Do we just let them go down the gurgler, Morrison said. Well, I mean, it, how hard is it to flip a house into a short-term accommodation? There's no, no work involved. You buy some furniture, you take some photos. Is that an industry that we want to go into a debt for? You've got to remember the stimulus money, the government's got $1.1 trillion of debt already, and now they're just adding to it. And we're not paying for it. It'll be next generation or the generation after that or the generation after that that will still be paying that off. And that's not even counting the devaluation of our money that we're getting with the money, you know, QE and then the repo market, all this rubbish going on interesting times we're living in really a lot of people don't seem to understand they're all everyone's lobbying everyone wants the handout everyone wants the prop up because everyone's just taking looking out for their own i heard 
a lot of people saying they're going towards long-term rentals, but where it's um, but where it's it's going in the long run, who knows? How long is a piece of string? This could mean devastation to the industry, to put it mildly. Well, what we have here, guys, is rental. The rental sector is going to take a huge hit one way or another. It'll be the short termers that cop it, and it will also be. Uh, everyone else in the re rental sector that takes it because all of these, you know, 500% increase in Tasmania, even 80% 80, 80 increase in Queensland, that's that's huge, guys. That's huge. That's going to affect rental prices. People are going to just... Uh, now, if you're looking for a place to rent, now's the time to argue your price down. If you're renting somewhere, go for a discount. Bloody hell. Now's the time. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. How are you preparing for this? Do you have strategies in place? Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan and you want to help us produce more content, there are a few ways you can. You can join the channel on YouTube or support us via Patreon. You can use our affiliate links at Amazon or eBay for your consumer purchases or independent reserve and KuCoin for the crypto traders out there. We have merch we sell from the highest assets website. You can see the pocket squares right behind me. We also have merchandise cups that we're getting made from Teespring. And you can also support us using PayPal or Gold Pass to donate gold. Take care, guys. Have a great day. And I'll see you later. Bye for now.